Yes, question. Uh, following up on that question, and I was wondering when or if you need to be worried about redundancy in your current position and whether Yes. But then in your teaching dossier, you want to highlight the really good things. Right. Maybe TA to course five times, but a really excellent, excellent review two of those five times. I'm just wondering how these things fit together. Okay. How thorough should you be in both? Okay. The question was. Um, how much information should you provide on your teaching experience if you also have a teaching portfolio where you assume a lot of this information is going to be repeated? There's two answers for that. One, it has to do with the process by which you apply. In most jobs and in most fields, when you're making the kind of cold call, when you're sending out your response to the ad right away, you only send the CV and the cover letter first. If they want more evidence because they like what they see here, they will ask for it that's when you send the teaching dossier, along with the publications and the abstract of your dissertation and so on. The other thing about the teaching dossier is it really includes, in, let's, let's use an analogy. You provided a bibliography for yourself, but you haven't given, you, you aren't summarizing or citing or listing all the information in your publications. If they want to see that, they'll go and they'll read the publications. Same thing applies for teaching. If you've got the whole file there, they see the teaching experience, Stats out in point form, very clear, very precise, very quantified, very orderly. They want to know more about what happened in these situations. They're going to open the teaching dossier and they're going to see, hey, look, perfect scores on my evaluations three years running. That's the kind of teacher we want around here. So in other words, the teaching dossier is the evidence for what you said here. And that's the way academics are thinking. So yes, there will be some overlap. There will be some redundancy. Um, and that depends on the kind of job you're applying for, and it depends on the kind of experience you've had. But that way of thinking about it is probably the most responsible and academic way of doing so. It's amazing how much we, we academics we repeat ourselves, I think. Um, along with being competitive and um, skeptical, we can also be fairly thick. So that's another way of thinking about it um, here.